Joe Dirt, or The Adventures of Joe Dirt, is a much smarter movie than people really give it credit for. It really, really is. Some will simply dismiss it as juvenile, and yeah, sure, it is, it is, but there really is a lot more going on underneath the surface. And that thing is Joe's philosophy. I mean, right away, we get that from Joe. We know who Joe is five minutes into the movie, not even five minutes, 30 seconds, 20 seconds into the movie. We know who Joe is. He's a man that never gives up. He's a man that says, I never surrender. All I got to do is keep being a good person. No matter what good things will come my way, everything's going to happen for me. It's as long as I never have no in my heart. Right on. Things going to happen for me. I'm Joe Dirt! As Xander Kelly, Dennis Miller, says later in the movie, you are so unrelentingly, unrelentingly upbeat about, about your, your plight. plight. And it baffles him. It baffles Xander Kelly. But it's true. Joe is unrelentingly upbeat. And that's something I think all of us can live by. The philosophy of Joe Dirt. At the start of the movie, at the start of Joe's story, the start of his adventure, he's eight years old, he's just a kid, and his family abandons him. But it's that moment that makes Joe who he is. It's that moment that sets Joe off on that journey. He's left behind eight years old, and that eight-year-old child sits with him in his heart for the rest of his life. And I think that is something that's a part of all of us too, that, that inner child that's in all of us, that wants to find that sense of comfort, that sense of belonging that his family took away from him when they left him at the Grand Canyon. And so like Joe says, he has this hole in his heart that he has to fill. And so he feels like he has to go off on this, this journey to fill this hole when he doesn't realize that all his searching has already brought him to what he's been looking for this whole time, that sense of home, that sense of belonging, that sense of family. Granted, if he hadn't continued on that journey, he wouldn't have met Kicking Wing. He wouldn't have met Gert B. Frobe. He wouldn't have met Dennis Miller and told his story. Sure, there were other people to meet, but he did need to learn that lesson. But that's part of what the journey was for Joe. That's part of what the journey is for all of us. Life's a garden. Dig it, but also life is a journey. And what happens along a journey is people you meet along the way, those people that you meet along the way, you brighten their lives as you brighten theirs. And that's exactly what happens to Joe. He opens up their hearts, he opens up their minds. And as you do that, you, your life can touch others. And that's, that's part of Joe's philosophy, that never give up philosophy that changes their life as it changes his. To call this movie simple, to call it juvenile, yeah, those things you could say about this movie, yeah. But I think that's a little short-sighted. I think if you take a moment to, to look underneath the surface, to open the veil and, and see what's going on underneath, you'll find a story that's really much more heartfelt and, and smart than a lot of people would really think of it to be. This movie was really just the perfect confluence of events. You got David Spade as Joe Dirt. You got Adam Beach as Kicking Wing, Dennis Miller as Xander Kelly, Christopher Walken as Gert B. Frobe. All of these actors at that time to play those parts perfectly. And it all comes through with David Spade's performance, with his sincerity as Joe Dirt. And I think that sincerity of David Spade is partially what made up that character of Joe Dirt. He never really lies to himself about who he is. He knows who he is. I think that added to his other central philosophy of never giving up are such valuable pieces of, of living. If we can take both of those philosophies of Joe, of Mr. Dierte, and just take them and put them in our pocket, maybe we can live our lives and be just like Joe. All right.